Hello guys, so today we have a pretty nice random number generator. 144, 176, and this one's 500 numbers. And it works pretty good. And it's working using spawner. So it's done entirely through spawn potentials. It has a spawn potential of all of these locations. And there's 50 of them. And it's actually not too hard to set up. Um, and this over here is just a delay to take some time to destroy the spawner, but it only really takes about three game ticks to give you a full random number. Not entirely using the spawn potentials of a spawner. So this spawns the spawner. It's a pretty big spawner. Hell, the text is even cut off at the end here. Apparently, apparently you can go beyond 32,000 cap if you use, uh, you know, external editors and stuff, which I did. So, and you might not want something this big. So we got some smaller ones over here. This is what was filtered. So you could move these numbers anywhere you want, and it'll just kind of change change the location of the uh, of where the random number will get set at which is pretty cool so there so yeah this is all the uh, numbers this one's all the way up to 441 before the text cuts off here but just have to copy paste a different spawn potential for every one of the spawner uh, the, every one of the spawner spawn potentials um, here's something a little smaller. This one's a hundred random numbers. What I'm gonna do is set up a schematic of the 500 here, of the 100 here, and all you have to do is run it through the command block science filter, and it'll filter all these numbers. So you can move these numbers around wherever you want, and it'll it'll work just fine. So yeah, these are all the, the spawn potentials here. There's a hundred of them on this one. Does it just barely fits in my chat? I think I just got up to the top here. Yeah, that's the top of the spawner. And yeah, there's a hundred numbers on this one. Hit this a couple times. 77, 77, 77 twice in a row. Nice. Yes, it is fully random. Well, best of... However they set up random spawn potentials, um, weighted spawn potentials. Yeah, you can even change the weight on these. So you can make this, I could make this weight on this one, like, um, let's make it a hundred. Wait, does that make it less of a chance? No, that makes it more of a chance. So it has more of a chance of hitting the, the night of triggering the 99 here compared to all the other ones. So it's going to be a little bit more because I changed the weight on that one. So you can change it pretty easily, which is pretty cool. I like the, the weighted situations. Over here, just a little bit smaller. So I'll set up uh, 500, 100. All these will be down in the description. This one's uh, 10. 10, 5, and 2. And so download whatever you want. Um, and you can edit it. Custom edit it however you like. Like this one, this one's 5. So I'm going, I'll just go ahead and edit here. All I have to do, I'm just going to remove one. So I only want four random numbers. I'll get rid of that much. All the way to the properties, comma. There. So all I have to do is run the filter on that. I can pop that out. And it'll be four random numbers. That's all you need. That's all you need to custom edit it. However random, many random numbers you want. You still set the weight on this one or whatever. Um, two random numbers. So, yeah. It's pretty cool. You can have the thing after this is thought about setting it up so the, uh, the button resets itself so it's able to trigger pretty quick. I'm getting lots of ones on this one. Come on. There it is. It's all fully random. That's it. It's like flipping a quarter. Oh, yeah, and for this, how I did this, how I did this whole thing is I used Texel Elf's dump, uh, what is it, dump command block filter. That was very useful in setting this up. It makes it so I can output this 
command, everything that's on this um, command block into a text document, kind of edit it and change all the numbers however I want it, and then just put input it back on to the command blocks. So uh, that's how I was able to use an external editor to input all of this this text onto this thing, even longer than what's supposed to be displayed. I think they tried to make the the backs as like 30. Uh, what was it like 32,000 on the command block but it's not it's it's way more than that um i did try i did try like a, a thousand of them and um uh this is when mc edit started crashing and uh started corrupting chunks so i would um yeah i, I wouldn't try doing a thousand hmm. so before I set, I figured these out, I was actually going to talk about this one over here, and then this thing, I don't know, got it got a little crazy, because it was interesting. Um, this is a two number, random number generator, um, and how this works is it requires two players, but this one's really fast, it's even faster than this one, because it, well, it uses scoreboard logic and a random player selector. So, how it does that is, I have little things here. This is what I'm using on um, on Rampart. I, well, uh, this was what I was, was using. I might start using this stuff, you know, because it's really nice. But this is fast. This is like instant, all-in-one game tick type of stuff. So this might be really useful. But the only problem with this one is it requires you have two players on the server. So if, if it's in a game that you know two players are going to be around, then... Feel free to use it. I'm probably going to keep using this one because it's still so fast. So, first thing it does is it sets everyone. It's hard to kind of go through the commands since there's a whole bunch of, I don't know, confusingness here. It's all scoreboard logic, but I'll try to go through kind of the numbers of how that's, it sets up here. And I'll also put this up as a schematic too, so feel free to download that. Let me actually go ahead and turn this on. Over here. Oh, wait, what? Oh, there's a pig. Stop it. I need to make you stop pressing numbers. Huh. Okay. So, anyway. So, this is all the kind of logic it goes through. Um, first, it adds a couple variables. Well, it says randomizing selection here. Then it adds a couple variables. TCA, randomize... I should drop the TC for the schematic version. Eh, I'll leave it. Um, so we got, it adds A and it adds B, and then it sets everyone to negative 1. So that's kind of the basic setup for the commit, for the variables. Mm -hmm. Then these four set a random player to 1 and a random player to 2. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really matter who, it could be anybody, you could set closest player if you want. So it sets a random player for mm -hmm. to A and B to 1 and an A and B to 2. So, that's what that does. And then the next step here, this is the major steps, it sets a random player between 1 and 2 on the letter B to 3. Okay. So, set random player between 1 and 2 to 3. And after it does that, um, execute whoever is 1 and 3 and whoever is 2 and 3, if that makes sense. So, originally we set A1 and A2, and then we just changed the B to 3 for one of them, so whoever was changed gets to execute things. So, execute, uh, execute, 1 and 3, random number 1, and yeah. And then this fully resets the thing, but just by removing both of the variables that I already added, that's, that's the fill thing. And that's it. So, and you can kind of see, let me go ahead and set this again. Actually, no, that's still on. Uh, uh. Randomize the selection, adds the variables, sets B. Oh, wait, no, it sets everybody to negative 1. It sets, it set GPMIDI to neg 1. It doesn't matter who. It set B to 2. So it just grabs two people, randomizes a number on them, um, which it set GPMIDI to 3. And then it it made him execute something. So you could make the execute be anything. You could this is this is where your output is. 
you could say random number one, you could set block. Um, let's see, yeah, let's just do like one, two above. Two stone block. So that's your output right there. So that can, you can set that redstone block to trigger anywhere. Wait, why didn't it set? What did I do wrong? I did something wrong. Is GP Mitty still online? He is. Uh oh. What did I do? Set block. Oh, it did work. Why didn't it? Where is it? It says it right there. GP Mini, block paste. Oh, it placed it to above him. I'm stupid. That's right. I, I was trying to place it above the command block, but no, that I get set it to this location. That That's smart. Duh, I knew that. 19, 65, 120. Do that. And... That. There. There, now we have an output. Oops. Oops, pink. There. This one triggered right here, so that was number two. Pink. Random number two. Random number one. So, yep, that's it. Again, I'll put these up in the schematic. Uh, you have to run command block signs filter over this. You can download all those filters and everything I talked about in the description down there. I'll try to make sure I put everything down there. Check out Texel Elf's dump command block. Command dump command block text. Dump, dump command block. I think it's just dump command block uh, filter down there. And also the command block signs. It's not Seth Bling's command block signs filter. It's the command block signs plus filter, which me and Azuchuki kind of worked out and require it. It allows you to do set, you know, different, uh, different coordinate locations or whatever. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Hope you enjoy. Hope you get some use out of this. Bye.